Hi guys, so on today's video I'm gonna be doing another makeup inspiration and the artist I have chosen for today's video is Kendall Jenner. I have seen a Vogue video doing her makeup inspired on the French girls so I thought it was a good idea to bring this kind of content to the channel as well. So if you wanna learn it, just keep on watching. So guys, I have already prepped my skin and right now I'm gonna be applying some primer on my pores and I'm gonna be using this one from L'Oreal the magic blur oh my goodness my neighbor's chicken <gasps> But something I noticed, she's a model of course and her skin is perfect But I do have some dark circles So I'm gonna be applying first of all my camouflage in the shade Salmon Because if I put the concealer on top of this uh, dark so circle, it'll get grayish So I need to do this step And on her tutorial, she uses her hands to apply the foundation on her face And she uses the Chanel, but I don't have that one But I do have Dior uh, Backstage and this Forever Natural Nude So I'm gonna be mixing the shade N2, 2N I mean, and the shade 3N I'm gonna put one cup of the 3N like this it's a little bit darker i got a little bit darker because um the winter is gone here in brazil and you know i need to mix my foundation now and i'm gonna put some uh, of the chew in on top of this just like this and i'm gonna mix with my hands i'm gonna be careful because i'm wearing like a corset white corset and i don't want to ruin i'm gonna put this on my face like this not sure if I'm going to blend everything with my fingers because I don't like to touch my foundation and my nails are long so I'm gonna be using my brush instead not gonna follow um, her tutorial on this part because I don't want to have like foundation all over my hands oops I'm gonna mix everything with my brush, my foundation brush and not mix, guys. I'm gonna blend. I mean, I forgot the word for a second. Now I'm gonna blend everything with my sponge, and it's kind of wet because I think the, the result will look more natural. And I'm just gonna blend everything here, but I'm not gonna blend the Camouflage, I just apply it here. I'm gonna apply some concealer. I'm gonna use my go to, uh, which is the True Face It Light Bait. And I'm gonna put this here on top of my camouflage, here as well. A little bit here, 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 and a little bit on my nose too. Just a little. Now I'm gonna blend everything out with my. Sponge. And I'm gonna apply what is left here on my sponge, also on my eyelid. Just like this. Then I'm gonna come with my counter, my terracotta, and I'm gonna do like her little dots here. Also on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and then I'm gonna blend it right away. I'm gonna use my little brush here. And she does wear a lot of contour, so guys, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put a lot of contour. Of course, I'm gonna blend it, blend it, but you know, I'm just trying to follow her tutorial. I'm not gonna blend this uh, towards my hair because you know it pisses me off getting uh, makeup on my hair. I really hate it. And then I'm gonna blend my nose. 
contour. I'm not gonna uh, do a lot of contour here because her makeup is really natural. Is that French makeup? And you know, guys, French girls don't wear a lot of makeup like we uh, Brazilians or like Americans do. And after doing this, I'm gonna take my beauty blend blender and I'm gonna blend everything out here because I don't want any harsh lines. Done. Time for a blush. I'm gonna use my She Glam one. It's my favorite one. And in the shade Risky Business. And she puts a lot of blush, guys. Here, here as well. Like this. And then I take my brush and I'm gonna blend everything here. Bringing it, bringing it upwards. Like this. And then also here. And as usual, I always blend everything with my sponge. I'm gonna blend my concealer again. Because right now I'm gonna set my face or my under eyes. I'm gonna use like a translucent powder like her, just here. Not too much because it's a natural makeup look. I'm not used to this because I really like um, makeups which are more elaborated. I like stronger makeup. And just this area here because I get oily here, so I need to set these places with my translucent powder. Kendall um, actually sets her face with a compact powder, but I don't like that effect. So I'm gonna use my translucent one instead. Gonna apply this with my brush instead of the sponge because you want it to um, look more natural. I'm doing with her, I'm just changing the products because I think it'll look better for my skin type and for... Uh, it's just my personal taste. I don't like compact powder because it adds layers and, you know, your makeup looks cakey. At least on me, okay? I'm gonna set my contour with a powder one and I'm gonna put this here. Also here. And I'm gonna smudge it out. Like this. And I'm gonna take my flat brush and then I'm gonna do my nose contour again. Just a little bit, guys. Her nose is really tiny and mine is not. So I'm gonna try to make my nose a little bit smaller because I like this effect and then I'm, I take like my beauty blender again my sponge and I blend everything out so, and something I'm going to do is to use my contour as my transition shade because her uh, eyes are really brownish so I'm gonna start applying this all over my eyelid because she does it so I'm gonna do like her and I'm gonna use like a fluffy brush to start my eyes. And now I'm gonna do my blush. I'm gonna use a pinky one like her. And I'm gonna put this where I have applied the liquid one and also on top of my counter. Counter, I mean. on my nose a little bit sun kissed because I want that sun kissed effect as usual I always do my eyebrows off camera but I just used my brow pencil and I just fill um, them in uh, like Kendall uh, she keeps them natural so I'm gonna do the same I just feel um, the places I don't have hair so now I'm gonna be applying some shadow I'm gonna be using my Wonka palette and I'm gonna take this color here toffee with a fluffy brush but I need a small a smaller one so I'm gonna be taking this one 
and I'm gonna do the same. Applying this on my eyelid and then connecting with my transition shade. She kind of does like a smoky eye, a brown smoky eye, so I'm gonna do the same thing. And I just blend everything out. I'm gonna take like my contour and I'm gonna do my lower lash line with the first shadow, my contour. And then I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a darker brown, like she did. And I'm gonna take the same toffee shadow. Right now I'm gonna be applying some mascara. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Sky High. She she uses a different one, the golden one. I don't have it. So I'm gonna be applying my favorite one, which is this one, all over my lashes. And the reason I have applied uh, something before this um, mascara is because this mascara is really hard to uh, wash off. So I need to put something on first. Well, the reason I do a layer with a regular mascara is this one. It's a really good mascara, but you know, it's really hard to wash off. Because we are not putting on false lashes today. So I need to uh, apply a lot of mascara. I'm gonna do some layers here to get the false lash effect, which I love. I don't remember if she put some highlighter, but I'm gonna be applying just a little bit here on this bone because, you know, I think French girls do don't wear highlighter too because it's pretty and I'm gonna be putting a little bit of my DR1. Now it's time for the French lips. Uh, she says she doesn't like apply any lip liner, but guys, I just can't help it. I don't like that effect without the lip liner. I hate it. I think it'll look horrible on me. So I'm gonna be applying some of my Fenty Beauty uh, lipstick in the shade Uncensored. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put like on the back of my hand because it's really pigmented and it's like an ink. So I'm gonna like with my fingers to blend into my lips. I'm gonna uh, try to blend the uh, lip contour I just applied here because I don't want like any harsh lines on my lips so I'm gonna do this and I think I'm gonna add a little bit more red because it's not red enough I'm gonna put some a little bit more on the back of my hand and I'm gonna do the same and I'm gonna build some layers here. I think it'll look good. And this lipstick is kind of matte. Uh, so I'm gonna be applying like a little bit of gloss because her lipstick is is not matte. And I want to make my like hair so just a little bit of gloss, a little bit, okay? Just to add that shimmer and then I'm gonna blend with my fingers like the sun setting spray and something that I almost forgot is the lash curler I'm gonna curl my lashes after apply my mascara because this way they'll look bigger just one press and voila <laughs> guys I'm really in love with this makeup look. I think you can wear it on your daily life. But, you know, it's not something I'm used to because I really like uh, makeup which are stronger, like that really changes your face. I'm more into the old Kylie Jenner uh, makeup style. Like Kendall has a different one, that clean girl, you know, vibe. And, you know, I like this. I don't hate it, but... You know, I'm just feeling a little bit different, but I like it.
So guys, tell me in the comments below what you guys think about this makeup look. Is it something you would wear or not? I wanna know. And that's it for today's tutorial, guys. I really hope you like it. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. It helps YouTube to recommend more of my video. And let me know in the comments what kind of content you wanna see next. And that's it, guys. Au revoir. Bye-bye. Love ya.